All right, here's step number one. AGs, uh, plow, got the adjustment free here. Still binds a little bit, but you can do it with a wrench. I re the wash back on. Yeah, it's, it's ugly and you can barely see it, but uh, yeah. I got a nice pin here with an elbow on it. I got a clip pin down there. And all faces that way so I don't get thrown off. I got the cold turf, kicked it upside down. It's out of the way. We got the plow at the pretty much about the right angle. Like interestingly enough, and what's concerning though is the fact that that's what means it, to get the what looks like the right angle. It means it goes all the way down, which I don't know about. Um, this is only one way to find out. Big, we can see. But here's what how it digs. I can show you in the side yard here. You know, on level ground, it digs really well. <clears throat> Now what's awesome here is, if you look around, tire tracks are consistent the entire time. There's no tire spin. I'm pretty pleased with that. Now what I gotta keep doing here is I got this other plow here. And it looks to me like I'm gonna have to take a, take a, About three inches out of this sucker. Cut, cut, weld. This is the plow that I want in that tractor. And I want that Brinley plow on that tractor. That's my objective. Tomorrow's trailer day. Oh, actually, no, no, tomorrow, tomorrow's test day. I gotta, I gotta do a static exam first. That's a take home exam. I gotta freaking kick ass on it. Oh, it's not gonna be able to make it. Let's do Monday. All right. One plow down, the other, one plow to go. And a hell of a lot of other stuff to do.